Well, welcome to OG's Garage. A lot of people have visited me before. I work on different projects. And today I'm going to be working on my 8mm movie projector. And uh, what I'm going to do is put a variable speed control on here. Now what I'm doing is duping some uh, 8mm film to digital format and uh, the two formats aren't compatible and I have to slow my projector way down and uh, using a different speed and this projector won't do it. It has a, uh, a regular and it has a slow and a step speed but uh, that's not working for me so I'm, I'm going to put on a variable speed uh, controller on here uh, to help me with my project. Hopefully it'll work out, maybe it won't. Uh, I guess it all depends on your projector and what it can do and uh, you know whatever your uh, digital camera will do. So uh, I'm going to try it, see what happens. Uh, uh, so come with me and uh, let's take a let's take a look see. So this is the uh, projector I'll be working on today. Um, actually, I've, I'm, I'm showing you this picture here after I, I was done with it, and uh, this is what I this is what I finished up with. What I wanted to do is make this projector where I had a uh, a finer control on the speed. Uh, I was duping some uh, some of this stuff here, and the only way I could dupe it without getting that line through there was to uh, uh, make the frames compatible with the uh, digital versus this old school uh, film projector. So in order to do that, I had to uh, synchronize the uh, the frames. So in order to do that, I had to slow this projector down quite a bit and uh, as it was I wasn't able to do that so what I did was I put this variable speed controller on here and I'm going to show you uh, what I did to to make that possible and I'm just going to show you right now what I came up with so I'm going to go ahead and make, turn this on And this is uh, like a normal, probably a normal speed right here. I can, and uh, but with this variable speed now, I can slow this thing way down. So you can see to probably a couple of frames a second, and. Uh, Depending on your projector, I would imagine, and your uh, and your variable speed control um, would determine that. What I wound up doing is, is I mounted this projector on my table, and what I did here with this thing, I drilled a couple of holes in there and put some pins, so I was able to uh, just slide this on there. And, uh, and hold it right there where I could control it. So you can do your own thing, you know. So, and uh, you can also speed it back up to, you know, probably a little faster than normal. So you can still control the speeds. And uh, this particular controller has an on off so I can shut it off or I can shut it off using the uh, projector um, the projector switch. Now again an 8 millimeter I can also use it as a, a super 8 you know so anyway okay so what I did was I went out and bought a switch for my light. 
And the reason I did that is this bulb, I don't have it in there now, but this bulb you can't use with this variable speed because if you reduce the electricity to that bulb which is what you're doing by using your variable speed here you're controlling the, the electrical flow to the motor and at the same time you're controlling the electrical flow uh, with this and decreasing the voltage to the bulb which you cannot do. If you decrease the, the voltage to that bulb it'll burn out. You'll, you'll burn that bulb out. So the bulb has to maintain uh, uh, a regular uh, 110 voltage on, into that bulb at all times. Okay, so another thing you have to do, that's why I put the auxiliary switch that just controls the bulb. So when you turn this on and you put this on lamp, this is not going to work. You have to go to the on off switch at the top and the reason you have to do that is to bypass the electrical system in your projector and just put that bulb direct to your AC current. Okay? So that is why you have to have the auxiliary. Uh, these variable speed controllers, vary speeds, uh, a solid state. Um, you can buy those online. I think they're about 15, 20 bucks, whatever. Um, you, you can buy those. Make sure it has the two wires coming out the back and not one that you plug in. There's some that you plug. It's because you're working off the voltage that you're going to hook it up to in your projector so you can't have that okay uh, so first thing you have to do is you have to remove the the housing from the inside uh, so uh, that's what I did as I removed there's about maybe four or five uh, little little screws that go hold these this thing in here and uh, you'll figure it out once you get that open uh, some of them have the belt there's a little belt that fits onto your motor that goes onto these little fans uh, that cool your bulb which is another thing that I'm, I wanted to so uh, while I'm on that the belt uh, you when you pull this thing out you might have to reach back there and uh, don't just yank on it because the belt will be around some pulleys and it might keep you from taking that cover off so uh, that that's just something that I, I that's what I had to do so um, another thing is when you slow down the speed of your motor you're also slowing down the speed of the fan and you know what that fan is used for, right? Cooling that bulb, right? It's for cooling that bulb. So what you might have to do is, uh, sounds a little weird, you, when this thing slows down, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. See how slow that fan is going? That's your cooling fan for your bulb. It's set to it's set to it's set to go fast and blow a lot of you know a lot of cool air on that bulb keep it keep that bulb from you know getting too hot so the way to get around that I mean is is you might have to uh, get a little auxiliary fan and keep that fan blowing on that motor while it's going just to keep it cool uh, that's what I thought I'd have to do because uh, I don't want my bulb blowing out. Those bulbs are expensive, so that's another reason you have your auxiliary up here. What I would do is uh, uh, just use your projector for whatever you're using it for, for short, for short durations, and then uh, let that bulb cool down, unless you have a real nice uh, cool fan blowing on that bulb. So, things to think about. Okay.
So I'm kind of showing you the diagram of how this uh, projector is wired. And uh, what we have here is where your AC comes into your projector. Uh, one line will go over to your switch that you're adding. From the switch, you're going down here one uh, to the to the projector bulb, one side of the projector bulb. Then you're going to go up and you're going to go back into your return on your AC. Okay. And then, I'm, you're on one side of those, you can use either side, but one side, you can run your wire down to your projector switch. That's the switch that's on your projector. And on the other side of that switch, you're going over to your speed control, which you're adding. And on the other side of your speed control, you're going over to your motor, one side of your motor. On the other side of the motor, uh, the electricity's uh, returning back to the other side of AC. So uh, there you have you, uh, your, con you know, your continuous flow of electricity. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> these switches you can either use a toggle switch or you can use any kind of switch that you can add uh, like I said earlier on my particular one I drilled a hole and put a push uh, just a push button switch you can use the toggle switch if you want any kind of AC switch you can get on there so um, that's about it out of the switch so from your from your switch to one side of the light the other side of the light to the power so you'll notice that on the back of your variable speed controller you'll have two wires coming out of there okay what I've done I've drilled a hole through my um, front panel here just so I could run my wires through there now one wire um, I ran to the black side of my motor here's my motor and you can see that I ran I connected I I removed the wire for wherever that was connected. That was connected to my switch, which I'll show you in a second. What I did, I removed this black wire from my from my on-off switch that's on the projector here. Okay. The other wire now coming out of your speed controller is going to the other side of your switch. So I'm kind of showing you the diagram of how this uh, projector is wired and uh, what we have here is where your AC comes into your projector. Uh, one line will go over to your switch that you're adding. From the switch you're going down here one uh, to the to the projector bulb, one side of the projector bulb. Then you're going to go up and you're going to go back into your return on your AC. Okay. And then, I'm, you're on one side of those, you can use either side. But one side, you can run your wire down to your projector switch. That's the switch that's on your projector. And... On the other side of that switch, you're going over to your speed control, which you're adding. And on the other side of your speed control, you're going over to your motor, one side of your motor. On the other side of the motor, uh, the electricity's uh, returning back to the other side of AC. So. Uh, there you have you, uh, your, con you know, your continuous flow of electricity. <clears throat> um, 
<clears throat> these switches you can either use a toggle switch or you can use any kind of switch that you can add uh, like I said earlier on my particular one I drilled a hole and put a push uh, just a push button switch you can use the toggle switch if you want any kind of AC switch you can get on there so um, that's about it well that that, uh, that was quite a project I was able to get the variable speed on here it didn't quite do the job I thought it would do uh, it, the variable speed does uh, work on it and I got it to step it didn't work a hundred percent the projection method really is not uh, the best method to reproduce your eight millimeter film even though it works it's not the best uh, way to go I might have to go invest in uh, a different method maybe I'll send it out um, anyway it was a fun project and you can still get your variable speed uh, uh, the way I showed you so maybe you're using it for a different uh, purpose uh, so anyway thanks for watching and uh, and come back and visit me again <laughs>